Hello, welcome back to episode 4 of Life is Strange. Uh, we just finished episode 3, in which we were surprised by the fact that we altered the future. So now we're on episode 4, which is Darkroom. Um, if you didn't watch the finale yet to episode 3, definitely go do it. Um, Previously it on Life is Strange. bone chilling. Whoa. Just watch this. It will probably review most of it. You don't know it. who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room over and over that's it listen i found pictures of rachel and frank being more than a friend i can't believe she was banging frank rachel straight up lied to my face why didn't she say anything so who do you most want to blame my fucking dad of course hello no you don't do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. Oops. What else have I changed? Sorry about that. <laughs> Brick was spamming me. Okay, let's see. But, uh, yeah, last time we fucking changed the way Chloe works and also found out that we're friends with Victoria now, so that's strange. Um, yeah, we're gonna be at Nathan's party, so this is gonna be interesting. There's a crab on the beach there. Um, I, different, this is gonna be different to the other episodes, because I'm recording this, like, an hour after waking up. <laughs> like, I just woke up an hour ago. The last episodes were either recorded really late at night, or, like, later in the afternoon. So, it should be interesting. Um, I don't know where this is, because we're in, like, a different part of the map. We've never seen this part of the game before. I'm just curious to see how this is going to play out, to be completely honest with you guys. I have absolutely no idea. This is going to be a fucking mind-boggling episode, because if last last episode was that crazy, this episode is going to be like ten times more crazy. To be completely honest, I miss badass Chloe. Like, this Chloe is inferior to that one, in my opinion. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. 
You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a pitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I wanna know what happened. And talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real I wanna know how- Chloe. is that, like, the result of- you have to deal with No, that couldn't so be much. the result of the I don't hurricane. I know anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, is that what happened? Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you should have remember figured. everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. It's disappointing. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What? Does she not know Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. What? She remembers that. Are you kidding me? Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max... Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my- <laughs> My place. nose is getting cold. That's such a strange cold. thing to say. Helen? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. So weird. <laughs> I'm so used to Chloe like being fucking badass and everything. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I don't know how she remembers the. I guess it's just something that happened anyway. But it's so strange that it's like current time, but things changed because of the fact that we saved her dad instead. I don't know what's gonna happen now, to be completely honest. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, 
I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can make <laughs> fun. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? She wants me to... I don't know why I have to actually go get this, but okay. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. Where's They're water? so great. Water? Water? There, water. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. Megan Weaver. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. Okay. No, I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But... I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Oh yeah, she forgets about my powers too. I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you only here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Wait, hello? Chloe? Are you kidding me? You're priceless. Ah. Uh, <sighs> ah, <sighs> so first we save Kate, and now Chloe's You're being all suicidal geek. and depressed and shit. You. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh... I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I would. Right at the end. Okay, sorry. Plus, about you know, that. I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay, so, uh, I don't know what to do now. I'm sort of lost. Um, what exactly was I doing? Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Uh... Ah, here's the DVD. Oh, that's what I was doing, okay. Now, how do I select all the... Okay, 
Okay, there we- no, come on. There we go. Oh, I fell asleep on her, whoops. <laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine upstairs, bathroom, it's, uh, morphine injector. It's total Star Trek her. shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Upstairs in the bathroom. Okay. Let's go. Oh, so that was the garage. Okay. Then where's her room? What's her room now? It's just empty. Wow. Sit there, that's silly. I never heard much about William's brother. I wonder what's gonna happen here. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy how this stuff has happened. Like, everything just... It's crazy what the, the power of time can do, really. Um, when am I getting morphine injector again? Or is that... Oh, yeah, I probably need to turn the light on first. That would be a good idea. Uh, is it going to be in the cabinet, or is it going to be over here? That's a mirror, I don't need to look at that. Nothing here. All right, it's in the cabinet then. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. What? It's not there. Okay. Where is it then? How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. 
Oh, it's in this cabinet, think... probably. Here it is. Okay. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Actually, I want to check really quick. What did Victoria text us about? Oh, God. Oh, my friends are, like, different now. To be honest, I got too used to the old style of this game. Feels so weird being in the cool kids friend group. Alright, kiddo, take your morphine. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. I'm gonna screw up. It's gonna happen. I'm calling it. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Where's the Please. albums? Come on. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Hello, Ever. okay, yeah. I would have liked if I could just go over there and look instead of sitting here and talking the entire time. <laughs> Alright, take it. Take it, kiddo. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I. No, could... let's not. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable That's unfortunate. while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around. Fuck it, do I have the option to go back, please? Possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Are you kidding me? No. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. 
I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Am I gonna go back? Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. What can I do right now? What the hell? Is it really gonna make me... Oh, come on. Still put me back here, okay. Let's just rewind completely to that point. God fucking damn it. Oh man, there we I have to accept it. I'm forced. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. God damn it, dude. Fuck. This is gonna suck. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Sorry, William. Yeah, I'm going back. Fuck this. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college bond? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max want Wow. To 
That's a good choice, though. It means I can't go back and change it again. <sighs> really sucks knowing that I can't have both options. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Well, I'm never gonna see Chloe, your dad again. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen. Whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Yeah, to be honest, I prefer <laughs> Chloe being her badass self. It's sad, but honestly, I do.